Hey guys and welcome back to Overwatch, my name's Scott and today I'm going to be helping you with some professional tips on Farah. Now she is very difficult to use and it will take you some time. Now I've currently clocked up 44 hours with Farah and I can say I'm really good with her. I've had people asking me just in random games how to get good with her or even my friends knowing how to play her because I constantly pick her. As you can see my playtime is super high. And on screen now you can see I've hit the top 20 in the world for environmental kills. So stay tuned if you want to hear all the professional tips I've learned while playing Farah. So first things first, if you're just playing Farah for the first time or you want to learn some professional tips, then stay tuned guys. Basically it's all about a good sense of awareness, fast reactions and a keen eye on enemies movement. If you see someone flanking round, go help them out, go help someone basically not get owned by Reaper or anyone like McCree's who's trying to just get the play of the game. Go help them out, that's what you're there for, you're here for the eye in the sky, the sky is your best friend. Now our Falcon Rockets or the LMBs, you'll get far more damage out of Farah's rocket if you learn a direct hit, but that's easier said than done. Instead I recommend aiming at the ground where you expected the moving enemy to be. Now that will take you a bit of time to protect where the enemy will be depending on your sort of distance away from the hero as well. Now that is basically a skill on itself, it does take quite a while to kind of learn that, especially if you come on a one-on-one -on -one Farah battle. Um, if you've ever had a one-on-one -on -one Hanzo battle, it's just totally awful as well. Um, Farah one is absolutely worse. Um, I don't, don't like doing a one-on-one -on -one Farah battle myself, but nonetheless you'll probably learn that uh, the hard way. Uh, if you don't score your mark, you can still hit them with splash damage, we'll link them soon. And uh, basically, if you see a group of six heroes, which is very rare for them to be right on the sort of point themselves, or Zarion uses her ultimate, you're gonna get a lot of splash damage, and chances are you're gonna get a lot of kill, because um, if you get a direct hit, it's still gonna do splash damage. There is a small knockback on Farah's rockets as well. It's great for picking off enemies standing very close to ledges. Keep in mind that your own rockets can damage Farah as well in close proximities. So the jump jets propels Farah right into the sky, providing her with a fantastic bird's eye view of the map. That's where you can basically um, see where all the enemies are hiding. And if you're wanting to use your ultimate, make sure you get the, the moment of surprise and uh, drop drop down on them or even behind them so that way you can get that element of surprise and get some kills because if you unload your ultimate right in front of them chances are you're going to get shot at and you're probably going to get killed now her ultimate is very very vulnerable and you're going to get taken down by pretty much everyone watch out for them hooks watch out for hanzo watch out for reinhardt shield because you'll pretty much block all flatter's ultimate so another like professional tip I like to use just to get a little bit of height on your rocket boosters is to use your hover first, then use your rocket boosters and by the time you're in the sky you can get a full tank of rocket fuel again which is really handy so if you use, for instance if you use your rocket jump first and then use your hover boost you've pretty much just got one tank. So if you use your tank first then rocket jump and then you've got a full tank after it so it's a really handy tip to to kind of know and you get a little bit more height out of it and um, but i've learned that through playing farah in that 44 hours i've played with and it's really handy to know because you notice a big difference between the the extra tank of fuel you have there so farah's pulse blast is absolutely amazing i absolutely love this now i've got 19th in the world with um, environmental kills and I can say it's probably one of Farah's best abilities. Now you can own sections of map um, when you're playing as Farah. For instance anywhere where a cliff I stay around there with Farah because I'm knowing if anyone comes near it they're going to either end off the side or basically deal some damage to them. Now people you want to watch out for when you're near a cliff is Tracer. Tracer is really good at taking out Farah um, because you can still not trace it off and she uses her backwards blink to kind of counter that. Genji and Hanzo can run up walls. Also Reaper can use his Wrath to kind of block that damage as well. And Widowmaker of course can 
um, use our slingshot ability to get back up and Roadhog can hook you. Now Zarya's shield as well is kind of annoying because she can use her shield and Farah's possibilities doesn't work around her and me also if she jumps in her little igloo thing. Um, I don't play me so I don't know what it's called. So knocking off people off map on screen now you can see basically how I do it in a normal game. You should always switch to a reaction to those kind of opportunities like for instance if you're shooting someone and you see someone next to the cliff just quickly switch over knock them off the map and get back to that target note that your um, pulse can also knock yourself flying so I often use this when you're in sticky situations for instance when a maze kind of freezing you aim at the ground use your pulse and get away from that and um, there's a lot of stuff you can do for instance when you're in the sky to get a little bit of movement you can basically use your rocket boosters to get in the sky and then if there's a wall right next to you use your pulse grenade to basically push off the wall and get you some distance away from sticky situations for instance if you run through a doorway and there's tons of handles or just enemies going towards you and you want to retreat right away use that pulse grenade to kind of push you back Farah's ultimate the barrage it packs one hell of a punch, once activated Farah will let it rip through massive voltage of rockets and continuously fire in whatever direction you feel necessary. Switching targets is also a good thing and um, for instance when you see someone, uh, for instance let's go for Soldier 76, don't unload the whole sort of rockets onto them, about 5 or 6 rockets will actually kill them so just like don't hesitate too much. Like. If you see an ultimate, just like um, fire at them and then switch targets because you know that splash damage is going to kill them. So on screen now you can basically see the amount of ammo, fire rate, cooldown rate, damage and range on each of Farah's rockets, jump jet, hover, um, the blast and barrage. You can basically see how much um, rocket she puts out and duration cooldown it's really handy to know these sort of tips as well and um, because if you're getting a sticky situation and you need to get out of there quick it's good to know that her cooldown is 10 seconds good luck pulling this off though but you can also take out other father rockets with Farah's rockets so if a direct hit for another rocket it will pretty much just blow up and um, but good luck pulling that one off as well so I'm going to end this commentary here for Farah. If you want to stay tuned and watch this full game of me playing as Farah, um, you can see what I use and um, basically stay out of them sticky situations like hallways. Um, I'm staying in the sky for environmental kills, using my ultimate where necessary and just trying to stay out of the way. Now her counters you want to stay, stay away from is McCree, Roadhog and Soldier 76. Those ones will absolutely destroy Farah. And Farah is strong against Bastion, Junkrat and me. Use that to your advantage. Also Reinhardt's a good one to kind of counter. If anyone goes Reinhardt, use Farah and you'll pretty much take them out right away. So if you want to stay tuned, feel free guys and I'll see you in the next Overwatch video. Thanks. You have my thanks. Restored. Nerf 
My ultimate is charging. My ultimate is charging. Five, four, three, two, one. Round three. Capture the objective. What a bunch of biscuits and bricks, Mr. Lee. Play of the game. 